Now that every student has access to Google and that there is a big push for constant formative assessment uh, and getting student feedback on a timely basis, uh, there are two amazing tools that I absolutely need to share with you. Uh, and they're both through Google Forms and what we're going to talk about is two what we call scripts within Google Forms. Um, and those are called Fluberu and Doctopus. Um, and these scripts are things that can enhance the power of Google Form. Um, so let's go ahead and start our work with those. The first thing that you're going to need to do in order to work with these things is you're going to have to go ahead and go to your Google Drive. And in your Google Drive, what we're going to have to do is um, create a, a form. If you've never done this before, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go to Create and then you're going to go to form right here. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to give that form a title. I'm going to go ahead and just call this Fluberu and Doctopus Test. Okay. So um, now we can go ahead and we can begin to uh, create our, our form. The first thing we need to do is um, create some, some questions and we want our first couple of questions to be identifiers of students. Um, we need to be able to identify which students submitted what um, for your grading purposes but also in order to run these scripts efficiently. So in question one here I would typically put the student's name. Um, so I write your name and then for me it's easiest uh, to put things in the gradebook if I have them put their uh, last name first. So I put last, comma, first, and then uh, I give the students some examples. So I say uh, Rogers, comma, Aaron. And then that way they kind of know um, what I mean by last, comma, first. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn this into a text file so that students can enter their name and make that a required question. That, that, that way they can't submit an answer without having done that. And we'll click done. The next thing we want to do is give another identifier. Uh, it's awesome to have two ways to identify kids. And this next step is very, very important. We absolutely can't forget this step. And it's going to be student's email. And I always give them an example of that as well. Um, ehill001 at stu.wakasha. K12.wi.us. So there we go. There's a student email. Uh, what a student email address might look like. Obviously, uh, for educators, that's going to look a little bit different. And make that a required question as well. Okay. Um, now you can begin building your assessment. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and make some really general questions, but I encourage you to go ahead and click this down arrow and look at all the different options that you have. You can be very, very creative with the things that you can do. Um, you can insert images. You can um, give them scales. You can um, do multiple, multiple choice questions. Uh, you can have them choose from a list. There are, there are really endless things that you can do if you figure out different ways to combine all of these, um, all of these different tools. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do multiple choice for now just for uh, the time uh, or sake of time. And I'm just going to go ahead and write question one and A, B, and C require a question and we'll go ahead and we'll do question 2 A, B, and C and required question and um, that's all we're going to have is we're going to have just two questions here and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to go up to here now that my form is done choose a destination for your responses we want that to go into a new spreadsheet that will be titled Fluberu and Doctopus Test Responses Create. Okay so now that we've created that form um, we need to go ahead and uh, we need to create an answer key and also enter some submissions so that we have some things to work off of. Um, so go up here to view live form. Alright, 
Uh, you as a teacher, before kids have the opportunity to submit anything, need to make an answer key um, for the assessment that you are, are giving them. So here you might put key comma answer or answer key, it doesn't matter. Um, and then here you're going to want to just go ahead and put your email address. So I will put ehill at waukesha.k12.wi.us and make your answer key. So the answers are going to be A and A. Submit. Okay. So um, you've, you've created that answer key. That is going to go into a uh, response folder. I'll show you how to access that. Um, but now your students are going to have the opportunity to take the assessment um, and work on answering these questions. So um, your your student um, Hill comma Eric is going to take an assessment. His email address is ehill at waksha.k12.wi.us and his answers are B and A. Submit. You have another student who is going to do the same thing. His name is J. Rogers and his email address is erhill88 at gmail.com and his answers are A and C. And he submitted that. And you could have uh, these kids take this assessment multiple times. Um, you could have up to you know, 10,000 students take this assessment. It doesn't matter. Uh, Google has the ability to work through a lot of data. Okay. So we've made our form, we've made our answer key, and we've had some students submit information to that form. Now let's do something with that stuff. We need to go through here and we need to find our Fluberu and Doctopus test responses and open that up. Okay. So here's my answer key. Here's Eric Hills and here's Rogers J uh, and their email addresses and their um, their answers. Uh, but how do you how do you use this as an assessment? How do you grade this without having to go through each and every column and uh, determine what's right and what's wrong? What we're going to do is we're going to use a tool and we're going to go up here and it's called a script gallery. And in the script gallery. I want you to please go ahead and type in Fluberu and click install. So we went to tools, script gallery, Fluberu. And we're going to authorize this to go ahead and work. Now we can go up here and we can click Fluberu. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose grade, grade assignment. And it walks you through through nice step by step, and you just need to identify. Okay, so uh, question number one, it's my name that identifies the student. Question two, email address that identifies the student. Now you can determine for each of those questions how many points they're worth. Maybe question one was a level one question. Um, it was just a basic recall question. Uh, make that worth one point. Maybe level two. Uh, was an application question. Um, so you might make that five points. What that does is it gives you the opportunity um, to kind of really have a general idea of how a student did by looking at the points. If they only got three points, it's obvious they only got level one questions right. Um, but if they got 20 points because you had multiple questions, uh, it's obvious that they got some level three and four questions right. Uh, so it gives you a really general idea of how they did overall. Okay, so we've done that now. Click continue. All right, now you need to identify your answer key. Well, it's named answer key. Click continue. And now it's grading my assignment. View grades. You'll notice what happened is down here in the lower left-hand corner, it's made an extra page for you. So one page is your student submissions. Your second page is your student grades. Um, and right here, it'll show me uh, 
how each student did. Um, it'll tell me what they got for each question. Um, and down here, it'll analyze my student work for me. 50% of my students got question one right, and 50% got question two right. Uh, if I was teaching, I would say that I need to go back and reteach that, uh, if only half the class is getting it. Um, <clears throat> so just keep that, keep that in mind, that you can analyze student work in this way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, what do we do with this? How do kids get access to this? Uh, you're going to want to go here and click on Flubaroo, and you get a bunch of um, options. You want to go to Email Grades. All right, uh, the email address question. So this is the one that identified the student. This is the email that it's going to be sent to. And then, do we want to include a list of the questions and the score that they got on those things? Well, yeah, because we want kids to be able to retake this um, and figure out what they did wrong and possibly do better on the next one. If you want to include an answer key, you can click here. Um, but if I'm having kids do retakes, I'm not going to give them the answer key. Okay, and then you can give them a message. I would say here, um, if you did not score X or above, please revisit this assessment. Otherwise, you may move on to an extension activity. Okay. When I click continue, it is going to go ahead and send that information to my students. Okay, So if I go to my email now, oh, look at this. Here it says, uh, here's your grade. So this is what my students would get. And say, oh, you got five out of six. OK, here's that message that I sent to my students. It tells me what questions I got correct, what questions I got wrong. If a student needs to go back and make corrections, they can easily do that. And then they don't have to go back and guess which ones they got right and which ones they got wrong. It's a really, really nice tool that way. So this is what a student's grade would look like. A teacher um, would get a, a different email. Um, teacher would get an email that looks like this. And it would say, OK, uh, here's this assessment that I sent out. Here's the number of emails that I sent to students. Here's that average score. And it really just gives me a general breakdown of how my kids did. Now you can still go into these things. And you can um, go ahead and You can still view their, their data uh, outputs in um, graphical format and analyze that work with the students as well. Um, so there's a lot, of, a lot of power there. The other uh, script that you might use is called Doctopus. Doctopus is a great script as well, um, as it allows you to uh, send very large um, files out to students for them to be able to edit and send back. So let's take a look at that. 